Hi guys, welcome back. So we have something totally different today. I bought a big package. Um to do like acrylic nails and gel nails. So we're gonna do it today. Try and do it. I've never done nails before, I've never done acrylics, I've never I've been to the sh like the <coughs> um salon quite a few times to have my nails done so I'm hoping I have a bit of an idea of how to do it. But yes, so don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully this video won't fail. So I just want gonna quickly show you what I got. I got the polymer powder in clear pink and white I also got UV top coat which will dry with any UV light <clears throat> got a block buffer whatever it's called I got the acrylic liquid two lots of different decorations got loads of glitter which one has come open and gone everywhere got a little nail brush thing the nail clippers, the nail glue, I hope you can see what I'm doing, the nail glue, nail foils to do it, I think that's the ones you can, the acrylics you can do freehand, I'm sure, I also got a little tub that opens up, and you meant to put the liquid and powder in there, I've got another block of brush now things um what else did i get oh and you also got all of this so you got a i don't know i think that's for your cuticles i'm not 100 percent sure of that so don't quote me a nail file a nail art brush some nail corrector liquid and these amazing brushes for the actual nail manicures and they're just amazing so I love them oh and you also got this which I thought was really cute they're prof professional use only so I don't think I'm allowed to use them but then a glitter nail kit but they're powders so I'm excited to see what that's all about so let me get ready for it Oh, and I also got this, which is UV gel, and I think yes, if I if I this is what you need to use for to do in gel. And oh, I don't know to be fair. Open up. Oh, it's actually gel very sticky. I have to read the instructions to know what that is. So I don't think we'll be using that one on this video. I think we're just going to go stick with the normal acrylics. Let me set everything aside. So I have cleaned my nails. I'm going to, I don't know, I guess I suppose, try and Buff the surface out a little bit. And I suppose I'm meant to like. I have no idea. <coughs> Guess as we go along, I suppose. I won't do all the nails on camera because I think it'll make the video too long. I'll try and. I don't know how to push my cuticles out to be honest. Ow. 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 I don't think I'm mad. <coughs> so I'm gonna start off by I suppose 
Please don't be annoying. <coughs> so already something has gone wrong. Um, the now glue pot doesn't seem to want to let any glue out. So to stick the nails on, I've got a brush and a pot of glue. Okay. I know you're only meant to do the little bit. Um, yeah, this bit here at the bottom, I suppose. Suppose we go like that, and not let it get stuck to my hand while we're at it. Please don't be annoying. They're not gonna stick. Really? Let me try and stick them off camera. As you can see, I dropped a lot of glue, but I managed to stick the nails down, so that's fine. So the next step is I'm going to try and cut them all down to size, I hope I'm doing this on camera. I don't want them too long because if they go wrong at least they're not too long. Right up there. Get one key but never mind, let me do the rest off camera. So I've cut them down to around about the size that I want. Now I'm going to file them the shape I want. So I've cut them down and shaped them to kind of ship really but I think that's the best I'm going to do. So now it's time <coughs> for the bit that I've been most nervous about but most excited about and it's so I've got this pot and it's got a bit of the acrylic liquid and the powder I've chose the, the clear powder so that I can if I foul it's not gonna, going to look as stupid as I hope oh my this is awful. This is a lot harder than what it looks like. I need a better brush. Absolutely awful. Let me do the rest one minute. So it's very, very, very uneven. But for my first try, I'm not too pissed off with that because I can buff it down once it's proper dry. <coughs> so I'm going to go on to do the rest of them. See you in a bit. So one hand is complete. They look awful. They're uneven. They are bumpy. But on my first go, I don't think they are that much of a disaster. So now I'm going to try and play around a bit with powder and see if I can colour them. Man, that's gonna be so freaky. Isn't it? Thanks for watching. Sure.